Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to provide an introductory quick start tutorial to using Microsoft Word online. That's right, you can actually access Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint online for free in Compose Documents. Similar to Google Drive, all of your documents will be stored in the cloud in OneDrive, which I'll touch upon a little bit more later on in the video. Uh, but to access this, all you need to do is go to office.live.com. And you'll be brought to this screen where you can see we can start collaborating with Office Online. And to create a Word document or to access Microsoft Word Online, we can just click on the Word Online button. Now when you do that, it's going to ask you to sign in with a Microsoft account. So if you don't already have an account, you're going to need to sign up for a new account. But I already have one, so I'm just going to close out this window for now. And this is what Word is going to look like once you get logged in with an account. You're going to get to this screen where you can click on a template to start creating a document. So it's very similar to the traditional Microsoft Office that you would have on your computer. They have a number of different templates here for you to choose from. For now, I'm just going to choose New Blank Document just by clicking on it. And when I do that, right within my browser, a new document is going to appear. So as you can see, I'm not in Microsoft Office right now. I'm actually in Google Chrome, but I have a blank Word document right in front of me, and I can just start typing. You know, here is my document. Now what's really important is you want to title your document as soon as you can because you'll notice right in the middle of the page at the bottom that this document is constantly saving. And it saves to what's called OneDrive, which is Microsoft's file storage, online file storage utility to save different files. As I mentioned earlier, it's very similar to Google Drive, but if you don't name your document, you're going to have a whole bunch of default documents in your OneDrive. It's going to say document, document one, document two, document three, and it's going to be a little bit difficult to figure out which document is which. So to name our document, we're just going to click up here in the very center of our screen towards the top. Right now it says document, and I can just call this whatever I want. I can just call this test document for now. So at least I know which document I'm talking about. And you'll notice that you have a number of formatting and editing tools here. This is great. I'm so happy that Microsoft finally decided to bring Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office as a whole online with a cloud-based utility because it's just where the technology is at now and they held off on that for so long. So it's nice to have it here online. So you can see, you know, we have all of our bold italics underline. If I highlight this here, I can change my font. So I can make it Arial. I can change the font size. Like I said, we can make it bold, we can change the um, coloring of the text, all of your normal editing tools that you would have. Here we have our alignments. I have my left align, my center align, my right align. I can add bulleted lists, so I could make this you know, a solid bullet. Numbered lists, I can increase or decrease my margins, my indents. Um, we have a number of different options. You have all of your styles that you would have normally in Microsoft Word up here. And notice that there are a number of tabs up here at the top as well. It doesn't look exactly the same as the newest version of Word would on your computer, but it's pretty close and the title of the particular areas within Word are the same. So we have the insert area. This is where we can insert pictures. We can insert links into our documents. We can insert page numbers. You can insert footnotes, all of your normal stuff. Uh, we also have the layout tab, which is where we can uh, choose whether we want a portrait or landscape document, what the size of our actual paper is going to be if we're printing this out. Uh, we can customize our indentation and our spacing. In the review section you can add comments so I could highlight this particular piece of text and click new comment and then I could say you know are you sure this is correct? I'm pretty sure it's my document at least. But I post that comment you can now see that there's a comment next to this line of the document. If we click on it the comment is highlighted on the right if you click on the comment symbol. So just like you would in your normal Word. Um, we also have the view tab where we can zoom in a little bit, we can take a look at our header and footer, and then there's also an apps tab where you could actually add add-on apps here in Microsoft Word. I'm not going to get to that in this video. Um, so this is this is all of our document composition, and I'm not here to teach you how to use Word because uh, hopefully you've used it in the past. If not, that's just a different tutorial. I want to transition you from the desktop Word to this online version. So one of the first few things that you might be wondering is, okay, you know, I've created my document, great, I need to print it now. I need to share it. Well, 
all of those options are available if you click on this file menu over here to the left you'll notice that now we could save this document as and we could download a copy so we would download it to our desktop if I click on this you'll notice that um, it's ready to download so I can click on the blue link and that document just downloaded as a .docx to my computer so I could then put that on a flash drive um, I could attach it to an email whatever I want to do now if you do want to email it you don't actually have to download it and then attach it what you can do is you can go back to the file menu and you could actually click share and you can choose to share this document with other people or you could embed this document in say a website so you've put together you know a document on a, a project proposal and you want a whole bunch of people to be able to see that maybe you're looking for some Kickstarter funds or something like that you could embed this document um, but if you click on the share with people button this is where we can send it to an email address so we can invite people to this document just by entering an email address so I can enter webmaster at ansonalex.com I could enter a note so you know here is the document I said I would share uh, down here at the bottom where it says recipients can edit if you click on this you have some options to change the permissions that users are going to have when they open this document so by default recipients can edit the document they can make changes to it uh, so you can work on a document with somebody else at the exact same time here in Word online or you could change this so that recipients can only view the document they can open it up they can see all the information but they can't actually make changes themselves and then down here at the bottom, you can specify whether or not the user would need a Microsoft account. Um, it's going to be a little bit more secure if they do need a Microsoft account, uh, because if they don't, uh, pretty much anybody could access this document if they have the right link. So if you're looking for security, I would check the option that says that they do need a Microsoft account. Now we also have a few other share options over here. We have the get a link option, which is where we can actually create a link to this document. So first of all, I can decide, do I want this link that I'm going to create to be view only, people can edit it, or completely public? So anybody can search for and view the public files. So public, you don't want to do that often. Maybe if you have some marketing material that you want to reach as many people as possible and you don't care who sees it, you could make it public. But for the most part, you're going to choose either edit or view only. So let's say we choose edit, uh, and then we hit the blue create a link button. You'll notice that we now have a link. We could copy this link to our clipboard. We could put it in an email. We could share it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, the important thing to understand though is when you're creating a link and you're sharing a document through a link that means that anybody with this link can edit it so even though that link isn't searchable somebody's probably not going to find it randomly it does decrease the security of your document so if you do want a very secure document you want to make sure that you're inviting specific people you don't want to do the get a link option because again anybody who finds that link can access the document but it is an option that you have here in Microsoft Word online and then down here under the shared with section it just tells me what my current settings are so it tells me right now anybody with this um, link can edit the document because we already created the link now at any time I've created that link I could just click on remove link here at the bottom it's going to delete that link and now you'll notice that where it says shared with it's only shared with me so it's no longer accessible to anybody who has that link so great you know we can compose our documents um, again this is saving automatically it's already saved to OneDrive we can um, print them from this left menu as well again I clicked on file and we could click on print and we could print it we can download it to our computer by going to save as or we can share it with other people by clicking on share now that's great okay but let's say that uh, you've created your document that was yesterday you've logged out of your computer you're offline and now you need to access this document again how do you do that well the easiest way to do that is to just go to OneDrive Dot live dot com and that is Microsoft OneDrive again it's Microsoft's online file storage utility and I do plan on releasing a quick start tutorial specifically for OneDrive and if you'd be interested in seeing that I'd love to hear some feedback in the comments section below of specifically what you'd like to see in OneDrive but just so you can access your document I know a lot of this might look uh, very foreign to you if you've never been in OneDrive uh, but there is one 
area kind of towards the center of our screen where we want to access to access our document and it's actually called documents. So you can see there's this blue area towards the center left of my screen called documents and if I click on that it's going to bring up a list of all of my documents. Right now I only have one. That's the test document that we created. So I could click on that document. It opens up in a new tab and here's the document that we just created. This is how we would open it up at a later time. Now I do want to note that when you open up a document through OneDrive, by default you're not actually editing this document. Notice that our toolbar at the top looks a little bit different. We don't have all the editing options. So what we would want to do is we want to click on the Edit Document drop down. And then we can choose, do we want to edit it in Word, the Microsoft Word program that we have on our computer installed, if you have it, I actually don't, or do we just want to edit it in Word Online, which is where we created it. So yeah, I want to edit it in Word Online. So I click that button, the page is going to reload, and you'll notice that I have all of my formatting options up here again. Here's my document, I could start editing it. You can see there's continuing my bulleted list. So I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more technology tips and tutorials. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. I would like to develop videos for all aspects of Microsoft Office Online this year, and I'd love to hear the specific features and aspects of the program that you would like to hear about most. So please leave that feedback in the comments section below, and look out for my upcoming quick start tutorial on using specifically OneDrive. That's all I have for you for today. Again, thanks for watching. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.